up the environment where they produce billions of dollars worth of oil. In his region, where we get shell oil is located and other major multinational oil companies are, uh, they don't even have running water, they don't have electricity, they have to suffer the polluting effects of oil, uh, contaminating the rivers which they get their food from, and, and suffering uh, all of the health hazards that go along with uh, being in the right in the middle of an oil patch. Uh, the military regime killed these brothers without a fair trial. The entire international community is upset. Nelson Mandela is calling for sanctions against Nigeria uh, and possible uh, sanctions against Shell Oil Company if they continue to do business. In this My game is worse than up. It's worse than up. And I'm not going to let it go to waste. And I can't let it go to waste. And if any of you guys know me, and if any, and if I know you, I'm not going to let you guys go to waste like that. And just think about your future. Think why you're here. That's our goal tonight is to make you think, or help you to think why you're here tonight and why you're in the school and your goals. Remember your goals. That's all I like. Exactly today, when you're a girl, I'm just down and down. My grandmother kind of raised me too, except my mom and my dad. She, you know, she needs to care of me, kind of guide me up to where I'm at now, school and stuff. I mean, she never got, she had a chance to go to college or whatever. She didn't go, so I'm not, I'm not here for myself, but kind of. Thanks to um, all the brothers and sisters that have passed for me, Mr. Edwards, Malcolm X, 
come by the community is we are here and I feel that it's, it's my duty to continue to struggle. I'm, you know, a, a key professor told me once that um, I am here not only to get my education, but to get my education for my community. And I think that, that is key and we need, to, we need to remember that. That we are here not only for ourselves, we are, we are here to, to get our education and take it back to our community. So our brothers and sisters really struggle and, and die for us. I mean, die. I wanted to thank the indigenous people. It's been 506 years of resistance and this is a day where people celebrate Columbus and Thanksgiving. And I think we have to be clear that, uh, about Thanksgiving and understand that it's a celebration of the destruction and the, and the genocide against the indigenous people of this land, Indian. And I think it's clear for us to, to, make, that, to make that clear so we can all understand. I pay all homage and all respects to them for um, those of you who got the energy um, Thursday uh, morning, there's going to be a sunrise ceremony at Alcatraz, which was the last place that the indigenous people held land free, freely before they were um, taken over by the CIA and FBI, U.S. government. Um, there's going to be a ceremony held at 5 a.m. Um, I believe it's at uh, Pier 39. I'm not sure, and it's going to start at 5 a.m. and we'll go for a few hours. So, if you've got the energy, you're welcome to join that. I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah.